coast, always in me Commonwealth, little junk, getting love from my city yeah. I roll call for the DMV In my own lane, you could still ride with me yeah. No one knows I made mistakes You won't end, but it's too late I don't need your support just to know I'm important I won't ever sell myself short Cause I know you'll see me on the come up Big dreams and big drip Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up I'ma put my money where my mouth is Talk a good game, I'm my alpha babe Grand Rising And then there were biscuits So I had the yogurt, probiotic yogurt, granola Blueberries, the pomegranate syrup, hemp seeds, almonds, all good. But baby, you wanted biscuits, so I've got biscuits with peanut butter, cream cheese, and that pomegranate syrup is on there. Oh my god. I've just been eating and sleeping. My face looks ginormous. That, I think, is the upped prednisone. I'm still doing the 20 milligrams. I just got my test results back yesterday from a week and a half ago when I got tested. Everything looks good. So we're gonna continue all my meds as the same for my immune protocol. So prednisone, hydroxychloroquine, and oh my God, what's the other one? It'll come to me later. But good news, today is my last day for my progesterone oil and my estradiol. I'm 10 weeks. Yes, Liberty, that's right. That is good news for me, no more injections. So I'm excited about that. Placenta has taken over. Actually, technically last week it had <laughs> That's cool, jeez. I take it over. Yeah, I'm excited to be off of that. Anyway, let me eat because everybody is going to try to out talk me. And rising. It's very much a rinse and repeat weekend. Groceries have been delivered. Okay, did I mention I've been craving chocolate? <laughs> I ordered fudge brownie mix. I also ordered chocolate pudding mix. This is a much better deal than buying the pre made pudding. Grapes, I'm loving these, especially at work. I put them in the freezer. They're a great afternoon snack. Watermelon, so juicy. This helps me stay hydrated. Oh my God, I thought, I was hoping it was gonna be bigger, but we'll make it work, it's okay. More blueberries, those are just a staple now. Tortillas, Roma tomatoes, more yogurt. So I got the 25 gram, I am out of breath, sorry guys. 25 gram protein, strawberry, and then I wanted to try these. They're actually a little bit cheaper than the ratio protein one, but they only have 11 grams of protein, but they have more probiotics, I believe. Um, focus. Let's see. Do you guys see the protein? Am I missing the protein? Oh my God, where's the protein? Seven grams of fat. Oh, there, 11 grams, yeah, of protein, blueberry flavor. So, and how many, this is eight ounces. How many ounces is this? Does it say five ounces? This is definitely a better value, even though it's less protein. I got some tuna. Um, I like the yellowfin tuna. Uh, I needed butter. Oh my God, I'm in love with butter right now. Um, spicy jalapeno refried beans. I was thinking I could make in a pinch like little bean burritos or tostados. Although technically you don't make tostados with the flour, but listen, we're gonna make it work. Um, black bean, or I'm sorry, oh my god, black eyed peas. I got chicken noodle soup. I have a little bit of a sore throat. This is made with chicken bone broth. You can't go wrong with bone broth. The collagen and the protein are bomb. This is 22 grams of protein. I got cream of mushroom condensed soup. I think I'm going to pour that over some chicken breast. I got um, thick cut bacon. I want to make an egg salad. And I want to do fried bacon bits in it. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, Simply Light Lemonade. All things tart are my friend right now. More pickles, dill spears. More of these. Oh my God, these are so good. Of the bagels. The Boomin Berry, 11 grams of protein. So I could do this, the 11 grams of this protein with the Noosa yogurt. And that gets me to 22 grams of protein in my breakfast. So good. Um... That wants to fall, we're just gonna let it sit down. <laughs> to go with that, I got the Philadelphia, it's whipped mixed berry cream cheese. 
Sugar is not too crazy. It's four grams. It's three added sugar. So it's not too crazy. 50, calor uh, 50 calories for two teaspoons. Yum, yum. In my tongue. I got whole wheat bread. I um, walked away from the brioche. Although I thought I ordered brioche buns, but they're not here. I might have to get some because I still have hamburger bun hamburger meat left. Hamburger patties. Um, I got crinkle cut zucchini fries so I can have something crunchy. I might do my hamburger open face and just do two patties, but I definitely want something crunchy. I'm trying to stay away from you know, too much starchy stuff. So zucchini sounded good. It's squash. I got the broccoli and cauliflower. I got two bags of that. Cooks in the bag. I'm gonna throw those in the freezer. Uh, I got crunchy breaded okra. Again, wanting something crunchy to go with my stuff that's not potatoes. Two things of collard greens. I got them in the can only because I don't know when I'm gonna exactly cook them. And the fridge can only hold so much because I have a whole thing of kale and romaine. They didn't have any fresh spinach, but I do have spinach in the freezer. So we'll go with that. I got walnuts, because I'm almost out of my walnuts. I got a bunch of chicken breasts. I am going to open this up and put these in freezer bags and put them in the freezer that away, because obviously I'm not gonna cook all these breasts at once. And I got sharp cheddar. This will go with my spicy jalapeno, refried beans, and my tortillas. And yeah, that is it. That is our little grocery haul. I just want to show you me. I'm sweating so bad and breathing so heavy. I don't know what's going on. My cheeks are wet from sweat. I don't normally, I'm not a sweater, but the baby is like, listen, sis, we are cooking a bun. I'm going to step outside, see if it's cooler out here. Whew, not as cool as I want it to be. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to put these away. Then we're gonna plan out the day. I think this is gonna be a weekend vlog. I wanna do, I wanna wash baby's clothes and put them in the drawers in the soon to be nursery, which I won't start converting the nursery fully. Uh, Justice, are you coming? No, okay. I won't start converting the nursery fully until January because I think my niece is coming out and I think I mentioned that and my sister might come out. So, although they're not coming out to see SNL cause I mixed those days up. I got that messed up. But somewhere around the 18th now, I think they're coming out. But I do wanna, mainly because I wanna organize my room. And to organize my room, a lot of stuff needs to come out. So I need to figure out all the baby clothes like that are taking up a drawer in my dresser and underneath my bed. Wash everything, put it in the baby's room. There's stuff in a bag and stuff in my bathroom that I'm gonna put in the guest bathroom because I don't need it all in my room. And it's just, it's everything is too tight. I want like more space when i first moved to new york i used to think everybody was crazy because they had so much stuff packed because obviously the apartments are much smaller here than in california and now i've become one of those new yorkers with stuff everywhere and it's driving me crazy like i want to have space so i'm gonna move stuff around obviously i'm a single person in a two bedroom two bath so there should be more than enough space without being cluttered so we're gonna figure that out <sighs> some people live in a broom closet and i don't so but good lord I don't know why I'm winded and tired today. I'm 10 weeks, I think I said that. Baby's still below the pelvic line. It's not even pushing up into my lungs. So, but I will tell you this, sleeping and eating has been my jam. Sleeping and eating has been my jam. So we're gonna get some stuff done today. I also have to edit. Um, I'm doing a collab on my main channel with someone and I gotta, I gotta shoot and edit. So I'm gonna have to muster that strength up. And then Tony wants to hang out. I'm like, what are we gonna do, girl? I don't know. We'll see, I don't know. It's only gonna be for a couple hours because I don't wanna sit around talking about nothing all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, let me, I sound like old lady, let me sit down. Oh, have I? Oh yeah, no, I showed you guys because I did it on this channel. It's the other channel that hasn't seen this yet. <laughs> all right, double decker, hamburger. I got lettuce, tomato, there's red onion in there, avocado, two patties, pickle spears. It's too big for me to fit in my mouth at once, but I'm gonna eat this sandwich. Get down, down. Thank you, Justice, get down, Liberty. Down, Liberty, get down, thank you. No, she didn't pop up on the other side. Oh my God, it's so good though. Mm. It's a little after four and I'm just eating lunch. 
but I breakfast like. That is my last progesterone and oil injection. I took my estradiol earlier. I was sitting here delaying it. I don't know why, because I lied again myself like a long time ago. Um, anyway, I'm done. I, if you're wondering what all that is, that is the packaging that I use. It's like an IV. Let's see if I have one I can show you. Yeah, these guys. I um, put the lidocaine on and then I use this so you get some occlusion and it helps numb the area faster. Yeah, so that was it. I still have my Lobinox that I do every morning. Let me show you all my bruises there. Lobinox bruises. So it's two inches either side. Oh, my belly is poking out. Even though the baby is not in the belly part, it's I can actually feel the top of my uterus like right at my pelvic bone as it pushes up in that area because normally your uterus is not as big as it is now. As it pushes up, then it pushes my belly up, which makes it poke out even though it's, that part is not baby. Belly looks bigger because of that. But I can feel it because I have that incision from where they remove my kidney. Like it's at the bikini line. And so the uterus is right about there right now because it is stretching that scar tissue. And it is like not quite itchy. Like I don't want to scratch it, but I want to rub it. You know what I mean? Like I'm aware. So I've been using this, I think I showed you guys this, Dream Whip cream and doing little massages there. It's got the melatonin, lavender, hemp oil, enhanced night body cream, lavender, chamomile scent. So I, I think it's good anyway, because I like to massage the baby and say, hey, how's it going? Definitely using it on that scar area is making it less uncomfortable. I'm hoping like once the uterus pushes up past that, I mean, obviously I know it'll still be there, but the top part of it where it's like, you know, as the top part moves up t closer to my belly button, I'm hoping it won't be as irritable, but we'll see. <sighs> I definitely need to get those um, support underwear. I've been looking on a lot of websites, Blonky and something else. Anyway, let me take my winded butt to sleep. All the things we'll do tomorrow. Today was a rest day, which ended up being like last weekend. I don't want to overdo it because we have elections next week and I know it's going to be a crazy work week. So I just want to make sure I build up my reserves and not overexert myself on the weekend. Tuesday night, I'll probably be at work till like 11 o'clock, um, which sounds crazy, but honestly, I'd rather be there at work than be at home watching democracy crumble. It helped in 2020 that I was at work when Trump won because I think it took the shock away. Like it didn't really hit until the next day and I had to go to jury duty and I cried all the way on the subway. But um, yeah, the elections are like for news what the Super Bowl is for sports. And y'all know we have the Super Bowl this year and the Olympics. Now we have the elections. <sighs> next year will be quiet. And then 2024. Oh, no, because we have Telemundo has FIFA, FIFA, and something else. But that's this quarter, right? Anyway, it's never technically quiet in TV. They'll always find something to be talking about. So I'm going to rest. Tomorrow we get stuff done. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a weekly vlog. It's the next day. It's actually the next night. Daylight savings time has happened. I'm laying on my bed, just undressed. I just got out of the tub. Well, not undressed. I have on my underwear and my robe. And now the girls who are in the living room 
somehow now I'm talking to you all. Stop, stop. I just took a Zyrtec, which is why that stuff is in my mouth. Um, I was, I took a cool bath, but I still get hot. <laughs> and so I'm just like cooling myself off, trying to catch my breath. I just didn't have the energy to do anything today. Today was not a productive day. I did a little bit of editing on a collab that I'm doing for my Simply Tanika channel, but I was supposed to take a bath and do my hair and film my part and I'm that's not happening. I did do my nails. <laughs> I did give myself a little facial, so the self-care is done. I did not wash my hair, which I was right. I was hoping to do that, Liberty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Saved you from a bath today, too, right? So, yeah, I put on my peek boob cream or whatever that is, so that feels better. I actually took a sulfur bath. Sulfur helps with skin irritation. It was either going to be sulfur or oatmeal, the colloidal oatmeal, and I decided to do the sulfur bath just to calm my skin. And then I'm going to rub in my cream on my incision my bikini area incision because it is i think i said that yesterday the my uterus is right there at the top of where my scar is and it's like a a little bit annoying so yes i've i've just i've been a bum i've been a bum and i don't feel no type of way about it i needed to rest and this week coming up is election week so i know it's going to be crazy so it's okay to rest <sighs> The overheating thing is, is crazy. Yes, dear. Wait. Don't take my clothes off, ma'am. Okay. Oh, you just want me to rub you? Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. The girls have been clingy. When do you guys ask me that? Have they been <sighs> clingier since I've been pregnant? Yes. Yes. Before, I thought it was because they weren't going to daycare, but I'm home like four days in a row and they're still clingy. <sighs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, if you're wondering, the four days. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanted to come and check in. I I did make a lovely late brunch um, with bacon, I had four strips of bacon, four eggs. I gave one egg to the girls, um, scrambled. The blueberry or the berry, might be blueberry, might be multiple berries, bagel with the 11 grams of protein. So I had a lot of protein. <sighs> Before that, I had, because I did a premiere on the other channel, I had granola with the cashew milk yogurt, hemp seed, almonds, blueberries. That was like 9 o'clock. And then I went to took a nap, then I did the premiere. Did not have dinner, and I'm tired. So I did a protein bar, the Think, or no, oh my God, the Thin. Is it Think or Thin? It might be think i don't know anyway i did that protein bar and i'm probably going to do a couple sticks of cheese but after i rub this in i've got to take my hydroxychloroquine no estradiol no progesterone tonight whoop, whoop. i gotta take the hydroxychloroquine and my magnesium calcium pills and then i think i'm gonna knock it out i'm gonna knock it out but i just wanted to give you an update this is gonna be a weekly vlog i'll see y'all tomorrow it is the next day and I am finally going to get around to putting this comforter inside of the duvet cover. So help me God. It is a struggle. I decided to just do it in the guest room. So I had just free access to all the sides, tying it all down, getting it all fluffed up. I felt so much better once it was done. I had to go get the bed ready. Okay, the bed is done. <laughs> It's a little wrinkle because this has been sitting folded for a while, but it's done. Hey, hey, hey. So, yay, duvet covers on. Chair's mostly empty. Still got to deal with this. I'm going to do a little bit of meal prep. I'm going to bake two chicken breasts just so I have them in the fridge. The weeks get crazy. I just eat better when I have better options. So I'm just seasoning up. I put a little bit of avocado oil in the bottom of the pan and now I'm just seasoning the chicken breast and put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. I put the 24 spices and then I just pop it in the oven. <music> Forgot to preheat the oven, so. Okay, this is from the registry. This is from Alexis. Thank you, Alexis. This is the Blue Sea Lucky Kit muslin burp cloths with the whale on them. And then one of these um, educational books. I love these, the black and white. 
Those are good for babies because that has the highest contrast when they're born. Their eyes are still developing, obviously. So I know everybody likes to do the pastels. But for the baby, for their development, the black and white is best. I am, I want to do baby laundry, but I'm still working right now. So I'm not actually going to, I feel like, yeah, it's almost three. It's more involved than something I can do in like 10 minutes. Because I want to pull all of the baby's clothes out, everything I have for the baby, and then sort through it. Actually, I can drag those things out right now. I don't have to wash them, but let me at least get everything consolidated. They're just in here begging to be begging. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Juicy. All right, let me fix me a bottle of watermelon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Hey, hey. It is 11 o'clock at night, and my stomach is rubbing up against each The sides of my stomach are rubbing up against each other. I put some chicken breast, I cut it up, and I put some salsa and hot sauce in there. I'm about to heat this up. Grand Rising to you, hotties. Ooh. It is in the wee morning <laughs> these girls want to play. I am up now. I had to go to the bathroom. I need to take my prednisone. But I'm like wide awake, so we're going to be productive. I'm going to try to get some content done. But first, I put me on the schedule. And we're going to do some meditation and then some yoga. We're going to do the meditation that you do in bed right after I take this prednisone. All right. I am... Can you guys see that on these? I'm going to do that guided meditation for beginners. The lying down meditation. This meditation is presented by My Peace of Mindfulness. The neck muscles are able to let go. There we go. The sun is peeking up over the buildings there. That nice morning glow. We find ourselves starting from scratch. Break fire. Carved out for us now. The brush is thick. All I'm asking now, don't give up. All I'm asking now, don't give up. It's a little bit brighter out. Very nice. 
I have a nice burst of energy, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna load the dishwasher, wash up all these plastics, the food storage containers, and the cast iron skillets. And then I'm gonna take a bath, and we're gonna record content for the other channel. So, just in time, I've finished. I need a drying rack. If you guys know of a good drying rack that collapses, let me know. I originally got this to lay over the sink, but this sink is like an odd shape, so that thing was too little. So I put it over this towel, but I'd really rather have like a drying rack with a mat that I can bleach, you know? The cast iron is washed and drying over here, and then the excess plastic is here. I'm gonna make the girls breakfast, and by make, I mean crack open two boiled eggs um, and feed that to them, and then we will unload the groceries. All right, here's their egg. I'm gonna put a little bit of this beef liver sprinkles on top for them. Bon appetit, girls. You're not eating today, Justice? Come on. That's a good girl. Liberty misses no meal. I'm gonna make myself a smoothie with the cherry, berry, and kale mix. I don't think I'm gonna put any protein in it. I've been running hot and I just want something like refreshing and nutritious. And then I'll add my yogurt. Um, I'll take the yogurt to the office and that'll be my protein. I just wanna keep it light and refreshing. <laughs> these big smoothie straws. I got these from Foods Alive. Yeah. Mmm. The lemon is yum. It gives it like a the lemon strawberry. It's almost like strawberry lemonade. Yeah. Clutch. My face looks so puffy. I'm on the prednisone, the 20 milligrams in the morning. Oh my God. All right, it is 6.54. I'm gonna draw my bath water. I'm gonna throw a load of, oh no. We gotta unpack the groceries. Oh my God, what am I saying? I'm gonna start the bath water and then we'll unpack the groceries. If you're thinking, didn't we already get groceries in this vlog? Yes, we did. But I was craving fruit. And I was watching Sandy Beauty and she made some lasagna. And I was like, oh, I wanna make some lasagna with Italian sausage and squash. My mom used to make this dish with um, meat and the squash. I think I might be tripping. She called this Sasquatch, but I don't think that's right. I think maybe she's just making fun of us as kids. But anyway, like you cut these up into like the size of, I don't know, quarters or chunks, strips, and you heat it up with the meat. So I was thinking I would make it with like a veggie sausage lasagna. So I got some ricotta cheese. I also got mozzarella to put across the top of it. I got more of the brioche buns. Even though I didn't get the brioche bread, I got the wheat bread and said, this is good and I still have hamburger patties. So I wanted to get that. The fruit bars, cause I've been craving like tart. I said that a million times now. And I got these little Luigi ice cups, the Italian ice. I got bell peppers because I want to do stuffed peppers. And I got a pineapple because, again, I'm craving fruit. And I think I'm going to refrigerate this, but maybe we'll cut that up tonight and tomorrow our smoothie will put pineapple in it. I got a red onion just for everything, like my tuna and my egg salad sandwich. I'll put that in there. I just like red onion. Garlic. I got fresh garlic and I got more apples. This I got... 
I've been craving candy and I'm trying not to eat the candy because obviously I'm fighting inflammation and trying to maintain my pregnancy. So this is 50% less sugar, these dried cranberries. So hopefully this will help satisfy my sweet tooth. I'm trying to make healthy choices. So yeah, I'm gonna put all these away, especially the stuff that needs to go in the freezer. I'm a little annoyed there's a bug that was in one of those bags. I'm guessing it was in the bell pepper. Um, but no bugs. I'm gonna put all this away. Put a load in the washing machine, hop myself in the shower in the tub. I need both hands, let me do this. Seven, if I can start recording content by 7.45, and be done with it by 8.45 and walk out of the door by nine. I'm in good shape. Succotash, I think it's called Succotash. Sasquatch is a thing in the woods. I need to call her and ask her. I, it's a, that's a little more labor intensive, so maybe that's a Friday night meal or Saturday. I should send Shine a text and see if she wants to come over for lasagna. All right, we are getting set up to shoot. I've got half makeup on. I've got these clips in because I want my hair to be a little bit puffier. I put in, can you guys see that? Broccoli and cauliflower. They're technically steamers, but I'm gonna roast them, bake them, whatever, because I don't want them to be mushy. That I'm gonna take with the chicken that I made last night for lunch at work. I'm gonna pack a think bar too. It's gonna be a late night because elections so i just want to make sure i have enough food think bar and then i'm taking the protein let me finish getting set up for the content and then we'll worry about the food but i did have to get that started okay let me share it with you first let me give you a background her channel name is fertility journals All right, here we go. This is the chicken and the veggies, the broccoli and the cauliflower. That's gonna be lunch. I have the protein yogurt for breakfast with blueberries, grapes for a snack, peaches for a snack, watermelon for a snack, and then this Think Bar high protein, 20 grams. Usually also cater meals, so I'm sure we'll have lunch options and dinner options. However, I just want to make sure that I have healthy options. And so if they don't serve a thing, I'm, I'm covered. I'm covered. They usually have veggies and stuff like that. But then it gets to be like a lot of also um, heavy food. So I just, you know, when you know, when you have to eat certain things at a certain time, better to take control than to leave it up to whoever. And trying to get out of the building to get food or even get over to the commissary can be a struggle. I remember there is no 9.30 call on Tuesdays. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I have to get into the office by 10. So I'm gonna pack up and head on out. All right, I just voted. Let's get to work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. Those are lights. I gotta do a lighting test. There's more, whoa, down there. I gotta do it after elections because I need a control room for four hours. I just got a project that launches in September. Now let's say we get one of the old day. Yogurt, berries, hemp seed. I was gonna show you guys the food, but I forgot. And now I'm out past the elevator as I'm getting on the subway. Oh, what a night. Hopefully it doesn't end in tears like 2016 did. Chappelle is doing SNL this weekend. He did SNL when Trump won. I hope you guys voted. Anyway, I'm headed home to see the puppies. I'm gonna sign off. I love you. Bye.